Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line. For buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform, email me directly. My email address is tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch that launched in 2007, one of the most distinctive dress watches on the market. This is the Vacheron Constantin Patrimony by Retrograde Day Date, reference 86020 in white gold. The watch has incredible wrist presence for a dress watch, and the timepiece is 42.5 millimeters in diameter by a comparatively svelte 10.4 mm millimeters thick, 49.6 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip, 22 millimeters is the broad and contemporary spacing between the lugs. On my wrist, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see it is surprisingly commanding for a dress watch. It has a broad saucer-like presence, and this is for those who don't want a wan or undersized dress watch. If you want something that has the wrist presence of a sports watch with the grace of a dress watch, this is a great choice. As you can see, it is flat and it's flush, and it will slide underneath the dress cuff, so it does what a dress watch needs to do. It is right out to the edge of my wrist, though, so I would say don't wear this watch on a wrist smaller than 15 centimeters in circumference. Taking a quick look at the hardware and the software, you can see the watch includes a blue matte finish, large rectangular scale alligator leather, sheer cut sided, factory strap with calfskin on the bottom in brand new condition, and you can see it also uses curved spring bars. The reason for that is because this being a broad watch, Vacheron wanted to drill the lugs as close to the case as possible to narrow the pivot centers across the wrist and make this watch work better on a small wrist. That's not possible if the spring bar is rubbing against the case. So thanks to that curved spring bar, you have full articulation and no impediment to the motion of the strap. You can pull it straight down if you need to. It's a lovely matte blue finish, and as you can see, it has a monotone stitch and the sheer cut side with the combination of bolstered stuffing means you really get the impression of a substantial thick cut leather appendage. Vacheron saved no money on that strap and money was spent on the clasp. As you can see, it's a combination of media blasting and polish internally. It's a double fold, Vacheron going above and beyond fixing the buckle using a screw. So with this deployant clasp, you really can't accidentally drop the watch while donning or removing at bedside. Vacheron kept going with the case, which is hand finished. And if you look carefully, you can see that these lugs are of the welded variety. That's an expensive and traditional way to make a case. But to get that sharp break between lug and case, the case and the lugs are made as separate parts. They're then welded together and once welded together, the evidence of the weld is removed by hand to create this sharp crease. The result is pleasing and artisanal. So this is a handmade watch inside and out. You have an adjuster for the day and you have an adjuster for the date. And I'm going to show you right now because I know you want to see the action. And all the action with this watch typically takes place while you're sleeping. So there you go. It is a by retrograde and it has a lovely silver matte, they call it opaline dial. You can see it actually features a flush and black polished Vacheron logo. There's a little bit of a dished profile to the dial and you can see that the minute hand has a curvature outboard that's done with a miniature roller. The hands, as well as the indices, are white gold. You can see you have larger indices at the quarters, 12, 3, 6, and 9. The hands are baton style. When this watch was launched, it was originally known as the Patrimony Contemporain, and those lines were later separated, and, of course, we wound up with Patrimony and Traditionnel. So what we have here is a wonderful watch with a bi-retrograde display and a Geneva Hallmark movement inside a remarkably large case for a dress watch. You can see that the timepiece features caliber a 2460, and its technical name is 2460 R31, retrograde 31 days, and R7 for retrograde 7 days. So you have the 31-day date and the 7-day week. Now, it's an automatic winder with bi-directional winding action. It has ceramic bearings. It uses a 22-carat rotor, not 21, not 18. Again, a lot of brands will try to cheat. They'll even use tungsten Vacheron gives you full 22 carats and the mass improves the winding efficiency of the watch. You can also see that there are several different finishes on this rotor, including an impressive guilloche cut, so there's rose lathe turning on the rotor. Geneva Hallmark movement, nicely finished, five position adjusted, 27 joules. It has the Poisson de Genève, which includes everything from mirrored anglage to perfectly aligned Cote de Genève, black polished screws, engine turning on the base plate, satination on the wheels. You've got a 40 hour power reserve. It beats weight at eight beats per second. All of this is 30 meters water resistant. 
and though it does not have a seconds hand, you could see it retains the stop seconds capability of the basic 2460 movement. Nice to have. Luxury is often about getting more than you need and more than you expect. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.